postcard book with the Grand Canyon features. I thought I'd show you. It's one of those perforation books so you can tear out the postcards. Grand Canyon National Park. This is the view from Yaki Point in the park. The Grand Canyon is exposed in the rock walls. These 200 years of Earth's history. Traveling the canyon's length requires a river journey of 277 miles. This is the south rim, as shown from the Kaibab trailhead, and there's a rainbow there, it's pretty. This site passes through four of the seven life zones found in North America. Colorado River in the Conquistador Island. Let's see. The canyon is home to the Colorado River and its tributaries. The river flows through 277 miles of the Grand Canyon from Lee's Ferry to Lake Mead. It drops 1,900 feet in elevation. This is sunset at Cape Royale. Uh, Cape Royale is an elevation of 7,876 feet. It's on the Kaibab it contains a forest, an animal community, more mountainous in nature than other plateaus. Let's see, sea clouds of Mount Hayden. Mount Hayden from the Imperial Point. made from sandstone and it rests on a bed of red hermit shale. Mather Point at sunrise. Mather Point was named for the first director of the National Park Service. Stephen Mather. 1919, President Woodrow Wilson signed a bill passed by Congress creating the Grand Canyon National Park. What is this? Angel's Window. And it's on the north. and weathering. Angel's window is a large natural arch that frames the Grand Canyon. It's, uh, it's one of the more famous landmarks on the North Rim. Let's see. Pinyon Pine in Utah, Juniper. So this is the pine tree and juniper shrubs. And 
Bridge and Snowfall, more than 120 inches. Okay, this is Sunset at Toro Weep. Why am I not be saying these names right? Overlook. And it's located on the edge of the Esplanade in the Western Grand Canyon. Oh, this one's pretty. This is to door aisle. You can actually see um, some wildflowers there. And lake. Let's see. Oh, it's the river, of course. Colorado River carves its way deeper and deeper into pre Cambrian era rock formations. The river flows an average of 4.2 miles per hour, with rapids reaching 10 miles per hour. Average depth is 50 feet, and the deepest point is 110 feet. And there's also a beautiful This is Mojave Point in winter. Uh, I can't tell if there's something red. I'm not sure what that is. Snowfall in the Grand Canyon ranges from 64 inches in the south rim to 128 inches at the north rim. <coughs> January is the coldest month with mean temperatures of 30 degrees Fahrenheit. The all-time low temperature at the North Rim is recorded in February 1957 as minus 25 degrees Fahrenheit. Alright, here's Mount Hayden. The scene from Point seen from Toro Weep. Hmm. Major John Wesley Powell, a retired Army officer who lost his arm at Shiloh in the Civil War, set out from Green River, Wyoming, to traverse the Grand Canyon by boat in 1869. Major Powell explored 1,048 miles of the Colorado River through Cataract Canyon, Glen Canyon, and the Grand Canyon in 98 days. And this is called the Watchtower. It is seen from the desert was designed by the Fred Harvey Company's architect, Mary Elizabeth Jean Coulter. It was built in 1932. It's pretty, uh, it's 
think there's still people there so you could still look around. There it looks like. Right in the amazing view. <coughs> much of the red, it's like you see in the other image. Point Imperial is 8,800 feet above sea level. It supports spruce fir forest community, including white fir, blue spruce, aspen, Engelman Spruce and Douglas Fir. Also, the mule deer, the red squirrel, the bobcat, and the porcupine live here. Okay, this is the Vishnu Temple at sunset. Bit of a pinkish rainbow there. Early visitors to the Grand Canyon named many prominent formations after religious or mythical figures Thor, Jupiter, Apollo, Vishnu, Brahma, Buddha, Osiris, Solomon, Venus, and Shiva all have temples here while Krishna, Rama, have shrines in their honor. Let's see, Tapitz, Tapitz Creek, the inner canyon. You can see the time-lapse photography, the water's just like white blur. Canyon provides for a variety of plant and animal communities from the pinon juniper woodlands and desert scrub communities to the lush riparian or stream like communities. Let's see, this is called Point Sublime. of 7,459 feet. Let's see. In the distance, the San Francisco peaks near Flagstaff can be seen. I'm not sure if that means those or that. Distance. The highest elevation in Arizona Hundred and seventy feet. This is the South Rim near Hopi Point. I love this yellow picture. The first Europeans to visit the Grand Canyon were Spanish conquistadors led by Captain Garcia Lopez de Cardenas. So that is my book. Oops.